somewhere away from the sounds of snowbirds migrating south this season. My own little world. J.J. Stinchcomb works to the music of his own soundtrack. I say, do you want me to turn my music off? No, leave it on as we discover how this once unsightly building has become the canvas for something so beautiful. I get to do what I love for a living, so you know, I mean. It all began when Marco Historical Society President Pat Rutledge said the island's museum needed to build a power generator. But it looked like a bunker. So <laughs> I was thinking, what could we do that could make that another way to tell the stories of Marco Island's history? That led to a challenge for JJ, an island native who has dedicated his career to getting dirty. I mean, I'm always covered in paint, so builds character, right? And painting scenes that show the often overlooked majesty around us. I was actually forced into painting in high school, <laughs> ran out of classes, so uh kind of started painting and you know didn't think much of it hated it and uh by my second painting i was in love with it jj bypassed highbrow colleges to stay home and teach himself art this piece will become marco's first official selfie station although that designation alone might not give it justice i like saying interactive mural because the hope is that people will take time to stop and realize some of this wildlife has come and gone you know like I'm painting something that no one will ever see again it's great to be able to connect like to be able to use my art and tell stories that aren't just you know I'm not just painting like a picture you know it actually has a meaning behind it I mean, I don't want to say it's a dying breed on camera, <laughs> you know, but I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's good to be able to do what you love, and I think everyone should kind of find that. You can chase your dream all around the world. This is where his heart is. These stories are his stories, too. Or you could find a way to make it happen without ever leaving hope. On Marco Island, Sean Martinelli, NBC2.